Hello, I'm RC Master. Welcome back to part 15 of my Mass Effect Commander Trilogy Jeffrey? playthrough. I'm just on, back on the Citadel. I've done all of the main planets, and the Citadel Council has impounded my ship, which is really piss annoying. So I need to sort of Kalisa deal with that. Kalisa Benzina in Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Does anyone remember her? <laughs> Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Well, we'll take it. Have you it. encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? They know better. <laughs> the Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? <laughs> You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Uh, I'm still Alliance. <laughs> I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. I have Speaking free reign to do whatever I did want. Did the Council Come on. order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? What? Savage. <laughs> sabotage human research. <laughs> the Council had nothing to do with it. There was an accident at Binary Helix Labs. In the interest of protecting the company's confidentiality, I can't say more. And because you'd freak out. That's a surprising revelation, Commander. We've had nothing but stonewalling from Binary Helix. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Oh, do I punch you in the face or not? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn between punching her in the face or or not. <laughs> Given your recent experience, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves? Respect's a funny oh, thing. <laughs> People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. And I will. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment <laughs> on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. <sighs> Why can't Emily Wong interview me more? She's nice. Not a total bitch. Like always, putting in extra comments in, like, oh, that's interesting. Ooh. resist. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit rough. <laughs> what the hell was that about? Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? <laughs> I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. Tipping Feeling, the scales. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. 
Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. <laughs> can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. <laughs> and it's not illegal to sell. <laughs> a few more wins recorded. <laughs> I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, <laughs> if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That I won't bore everyone's time doing that during the recording. Not what I heard. And what did you mean, Yo, Anderson. I'm glad you came, Seven. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. So how do we do that? You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. Sneaky. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? She Leave wears a lot of eyeliner, actually. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Didn't realize that. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. I like that Hopefully option better. He be there. <laughs> if he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. One guy. I was hoping you'd say that. If you punch the him. The Ambassador has made this personal. <laughs> we worth it. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Oh, Let's yeah. Do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. What a complicated part of the mission I have. Oh, where's the dance option? That's really annoying. <laughs> no dance option. Sad face. Alright, we need to get to CSAC and then go back up to the ship. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. All females seem to have slightly weird postures in Mass Effect. Like, really sort of pushed out hips and bellies. Ooh, ooh, let's expect the ship. You know, this time I've been playing Mass Effect, like, crew members always seem to be, like, going, hmm, oh, ah, interesting. Like, I've never noticed that, them doing that before. So it's a little bit weird to have it happen so often. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Zoom, 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 zoom. Decontamination. Zoom. Punch him, punch him. Anderson, 
What are you doing here? I didn't send. Yes! <laughs> One nil to Anderson. <laughs> Let's just go, 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 go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Adios. <laughs> oh, I like Anderson. Dean is way too slimy. Anderson's more straightforward. Message coming in. Patching it through. Um, okay. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. To be honest, I thought she was full of crap. <laughs> well, you were smart enough not to say that. You've got a knack for handling the press. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Oh dear. How angry was the Council? About what you'd expect. Don't worry too much about it, Commander. They're always angry with us. I won't keep you any longer. They need to get the fuck over it, I mean really. <laughs> Don't let them... Don't let me get ambushed, you know. Bleed in hell. Alos. Again, this is the end game now. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you were in the area. What? You've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. <sighs> Seriously, I'm in the middle of something. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. So you gotta send me in. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. <sighs> I'll take the biotics down, Admiral. And I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. You don't think I've got, you know, better things to do? No? God. Just gonna have to leave that until another time. To be honest. Oh, hello, Leara. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you. <sighs> this voice you always changes every single time. <laughs> I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but. Part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last <laughs> moments together. See that heartbeat sort of backing Our last chance to show each other dun, how dun, we dun. feel. Dun, dun. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. <laughs> Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Okay, cool. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> so Shepard's a bit passive in a sense. Some people freaked out about this, like, and they haven't even hadn't even played the game. And they were like, oh my god, there's a sex scene in Mass Effect. It's like, this is one of the tamest sex scenes I've ever seen. Ooh, a naked rendered 
side shot of a thigh. It was almost cheesy, to be honest. By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. Well, that was quick for me, so... <laughs> you were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. Sort of blacked out there. I had better go. <laughs> Didn't know what Duty happened. Calls. In the middle. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything. Shit, girl, you don't have to thank me for that. I enjoyed it. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Don't shout, Liara. systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Explain. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Two clicks? Drop like... us in the Mako. That's you need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. <laughs> it's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Joker. Joker. Moment of truth. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh yeah. Okay, lots of um, tech people. So let's let's go with lots of. Yeah, going to be more Krogan and stuff. I'm guessing. So let's go with that. So much win. Obviously, when stealth systems are engaged, it has to look different also. Even though it's mostly non-visual. You two, keep moving inside, now! Oh, but he locked the door. What are we ever gonna do? Gonna have to backtrack. And that's gonna delay. We have us. to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no know. way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Gonna have to go backwards. Oh, what a pain. Oh dear. Sniper rifle's not so good at this range. This is getting absolutely destroyed. A little bit more cautious on the amateurs. Whoa! That's a lot closer than I thought. Ow! Okay. 
running away. Load of buns. Hmm. Not sure I'm going here. Let's assume down is correct. Shutting these fools, don't even have to aim at the heads. Whoa, that's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> Is that because I turned it up to veteran or something? They're <laughs> requiring me to punch in a whole bunch more numbers. Wow. Okay. Um, well. I think I'm lost. That's nice. Um, awkward. This is the other side of the area that I was exploring. Wait. What? The door isn't active. What the hell am I supposed to do? I guess I'll continue along this way. Explore. Perhaps I have to come back for it. Um, I've completely forgotten everything about this bit. Not good. 
first season I'm supposed to be talking about. What are you doing it? Oh gosh. Let's assume that what I'm doing is sort of right. Gareth is pretty, getting pretty good with that sniper rifle now. Oh! Oh, hello. Wait, what happened? Oh, it's an elevator. It goes backwards and up. I love their weirdly constructed elevators in Mass Effect. Wait, guess up a talk? Why, what? Why is it freaking out? And why can't I shoot it? Bad times. <laughs> oh dear, this is terrible. I'm gonna have to go back into the elevator or something. If I can figure out how to activate it, there we go. Terrible, 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 terrible. <laughs> what is going on? Ramp Shepherd. I can barely even see them for all the foliage. I'm just gonna spam some pistol shots instead. Thank you for the appraisal, Rex. Let's assume I'm going the right location still. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Terran's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. But what makes you think this we'll is command center? Seriously. The security lockdown if we ever want to get inside. There's nothing that said command center to me.
One thing you can do is sort of rush to these on uh, at the start of the fight, and then they'll help you during the fight. But that's also kind of dangerous to do. <coughs> Might as well pick up the XP while I'm here, though. How exactly they managed to get you know so completely totally reprogrammed by me just tapping a few buttons in a random sequence I don't really know but hey that's video game logic for you upstairs we need to find like a security panel Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Come on, I got a Mako. That's super Unless fast. Unless he's dude. already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on, something's happening. Too late. Unable to. Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. <laughs> it's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. And it comes out English. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Nope, it's useless. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. How encouraging. Man, those Protheans were sure were downers, huh? Why would you design a command center like this? Like what what does this balcony help? I mean I mean really. You get to look straight down onto the entranceway, like Wow, there's nowhere else to go from here. <laughs> the, sign, the sign of some game worlds is so weird sometimes. Like when you actually try and rationalize like how the spaces are built, it just sometimes makes no sense at all. And like, what does that work walkway serve? What purpose is that? I don't see any purpose at all. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. It's just there, so you as a player can go up there and shoot down on the enemies, rather than having like no cover at all. It's really the only purpose. Okay, I'm confused. What the hell is going on? What is my what is my task right now? Enter the archives. Return to the vehicle. But this is the place, right? It's glitched. For God's sake. How am I supposed to do anything? I've got some dot telling me to go the other way this would be slightly annoying if I had got a glitch save game in fact it'd be incredibly annoying wait what it wants me to exit in the complete opposite direction okay 
I should pay more attention to those flags, I suppose. Stop being so arrogant. But at what point did it tell me I was supposed to go there? It just puts a flag on the map and says, yeah, that's where you're supposed to go. Like, you're walking the wrong way. Like, you're an idiot. <laughs> well, definitely makes me feel like an idiot. Spin round and round. Ah, that's what that door was for. Now I remember. Because it's all circular and weird because game developers are like that. Next time, I'm going to get in the maker and continue Ilos. Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. 